Hello and welcome to the highlights of the fifth and the final match in the Samsung Cup between Pakistan and India. These highlights coming to you from the Gaddafi Stadium to the line. The teams uh, India go in with an unchanged team while well, Pakistan make an important change at the top. Taufik Umar, the left-hand young batsman, comes in place of Shahid Afridi. Match about to begin. Our commentators first up, Ramiz Ra. Here he comes. First ball of the final game. Cut away for speeds to the boundary. Short and wide. It will be punished and was. Great start by Verinda Sevak. Such a talented player and a strong player square through the offside. Didn't need to keep it down. All he was looking for that ball to meet the middle of his stick. The weight not properly transferred into that shot, but it didn't matter. It went like a tracer bullet. 79 at Karachi is best of 57 balls and he's this ability to take the game away from the opposition. Missed it. This is crazy from Shabir Ahmed. Now, and Zaman really will have to do something quicker here. He let Shabir operate in the last game and it became a big joke in the end. Oh, and a misfield. Knock on for a couple. Thirteen for no wicket with that four. Oh, beautifully played. I just love it when he turns his right hand over left and times the ball so well. It's a noble call, but what a wonderful stroke. The call was very early from the umpire, David Shepard. Calling this a no ball and what a fantastic shot. He's a wonderful player of his pads. Got in position early and then flickered the wrist and away it went. Avoiding Yunus Khan. This is poor cricket from Shabir Ahmed. Always standing and bowling on the pads. Side edge and speeds down. It really is. <laughs> How long do you suppose it took for that ball to get from the outside edge of that back to the boundary? Now, Pakistan shouldn't get discouraged with this. It was edgy. We're in the Sevak, not comfortable in driving off the back foot. The face of the blade had opened. The two slips in place. Runs, four of them. Sachin Tendulkar will enjoy this stuff from Shabir Ahmed. He's not consistently bowling at one place. This one was shorter in length and wayward air also. Sachin Tendulkar, well, he's a master craftsman. Staying in his position, covering the line. Away from Inzaman at shot cover. It was a big chase for Mohammed Sami was at mid-off. Couldn't do a thing about it. Forced a change in the field. Beautifully played. Time in front of square. Time he seemed to have then to play that shot. Well, this is such a good shot from Sevak. It's a back foot push through mid wicket. Tremendous timing and power play from uh, the little man there. Not 
that bad a delivery but converted into a bad delivery see how he pushes himself back to use that crease to get that power behind that one tremendous shot fielded with the help of the left kneecap but this is this field is changing ball by ball the onside field is now a leg slip and a short mid wicket this was hit really hard at backward point so Malik I think the man is there and it's gone through his hands and him straight on the left knee Pakistan uh, not attacking no slip in place now The wicket falls. And a big one it is too. For the Pakistanis, uh, Shabir. Well, he's been a bit wayward, he's been a bit expensive, but he's got out a very dangerous batsman. Sevag will be extremely disappointed with this. Look where his other foot goes. Playing almost a late cut to Shabir Ahmed. And that's a big bonus for him not a great delivery but not a great shot from Virinda Seva gone for 20 India lose their first one for 34 Vilias uh, Laxman comes to the wicket he um, he could do with a runner too he's only scored 27 in the three innings that he's had in this series I see he's had four innings because he was out to a no ball during his highest score of 20 in the uh, in so far, but a good career record. Average only 30, though. Fine, four. Nice way to get off the mark. Little half volley leg stump, just the old fashioned leg glance, if you like. Or leg glide. Nicely played. I think the idea was solid from Schwebach. They wanted to attack the, the wickets. He wanted the ball to be pitched up. That was a little excitedish. So three deliveries, in fact, two deliveries outside the off stump, two hitting the stumps and looking to hit the stumps, and then the last one being put away. Little excitedish. Nicely timed. He's played that on the up. We'll get a third. Beautifully timed shot. Come on, come on, Vinay! Well, I imagine Verinda Sawak would have been remorseful that he didn't play like this. Full face of the bat. Into the gap. VVS Laxman appears to be sharp this morning. He's come out. First up, the feet are going okay. The bat's getting down there. Meeting the ball crisply. Past Inzaman, the captain. Oh, this is such a good shot. He just waded into that one. And it's gone for four. That's artistic. Heels. Certainly is great to watch. He cracked Shabir through the covers off the back foot. Earlier in this innings. This time leaning on the front foot. Finding the middle of the bat. And the full face once again. The ball before this, he tried to run the third man. And he thinks better. The next ball. And the result is perfect. Wait. Oh, beaten him completely that one. Came back in. Tendulka again looking to get forward and looking to play on the up as he always looks to do in one day. Just nip back in. Another good use of the wrist to get a couple of runs. 51 for one. Impossible. Impossible to get to that. Yusuf Yohan was a third man. Just a little fuller and wider. And this time VVS Laxman commits to the shot. Uses the full face of the bat specifically behind point really good shot 
Muhammad Sami can't get that wide. Especially two balls in a row when you give good batsmen a practice run. This Indian top order can bounce back to form and really get away on Inzaman. It's taken the sting out of that one. Is it going to be enough? I think he's managed it. Vivius Lakshman is really picking up some useful runs in that favourite area square on the offside. This looks a good batting pitch. Which players will support the decisions of their captain the best is another question that we'll find the answer to throughout the night. At the moment, it's the Indian top order, not the Pakistani bowlers. Injumam is feeling the pinch. Ganguly, cool as a cucumber up in the pavilion. Batsmen doing their job. That's four. It's a glorious four. So just a treat to watch. Nothing wrong with the delivery. And Tendulkar at his best in that shot. Oh, I like it. Back foot has been in evidence. Now front foot. Perfect balance. Stood and delivered and almost took Inzamam Alak's hair off. Deliberate or uh, was it an adjustment that he made after the ball was met? That's four runs more to India and Tendulkar. Deliberate or not, it's effective. I don't like the shot. It's wide though. They've got a man covering the cut shot, so let's have a look if Sachin Tendulkar does run it on purpose. Not really. It's more outside edge, which then opens up the face of the bat. Uh, pretty solid. Mohamed Sami needs answers. That's another beautiful shot that we've seen this afternoon. It's another shot in front of the wicket. It's another confirmation that Tendulkar is in good form. Certainly in the slot. Up on his front toe, Sachin Tendulkar, it's all coming back. He's up on the ball of his feet, look at that. Even though the foot didn't move too much, he was in a powerful position. a little while earlier you know, the footwork isn't too good if you have the right balance and you just uh, got a perpendicular your head to the ground and your feet that should do the trick the last boundary I don't think there was much footwork in that shot from Tendulkar again beautifully balanced the ball is really flying off the bat when it goes inside that circle we'll have a look at that boundary Let's have a look at the balance here. From front on, we saw that it wasn't great footwork, but again, beautifully balanced. Weight uh, leaning forward. This is the one that he wanted to show everybody that he deliberately played that. It was an edge that got him four. 73 for one, India. This is more deliberate than the first one. Certainly was deliberate and classy. I think it might have stayed down a little bit more than he thought to. He got back down on it and opened the face. Look at the pace he's able to get on it. That's what we call using the pace of the bowler. Shabir just gave him a little bit of width, not too bad. It's pretty good bowling and he's found a way to manufacture four. Oh, Mohamed Sami has picked up the wicket of Tendulkar here. Oh, what a big blow this is for India. Mohamed Sami has been expensive but again showing his virtues as a wicket taker in the side. He's got the big one in a big match. 
seemed to be a tame sort of end to an inning that was promising so much. First ball of a new over for Mohamed Sami's third. And looking to run another one down to third man. The slips were taken off and he thought this is an area that he can score runs off without too many risks. With that glide that finally you try it, the more risky it gets. The Tendulkar, another disappointment for him. Gone for 37. India 79 for 2. The Pakistanis have picked the two big guns, the more attacking players in the Indian team. Saurav Ganguly, the captain, comes in at number four. The Sehwag and Tendulkar, the two right-hand openers, back in the pavilion. And the crowd is alive at the moment. Oh, it's a glorious shot. What a tremendous shot that was. The big bats that these players have got, the timing, it really has got great timing. Let's look at the balance from side on. Oh, the ball was about knee height, hip height, and thigh height, and he just whipped it. Look at that. Brilliant shot, it really is. It's a typical uh, BBS laxman shot, straight hey, after drinks, finding the gap and doing it with those wonderful wrists of his. There was nothing wrong with the delivery really, was it? Third man has got no chance. He's a glorious timer through the offside, it's 95 for 2. What a brilliant shot that really was. It just goes to show you how fast these outfields are. Just watch his wrist here. He sees it come on and opens a blade up, hits it right in the middle, and the ball just scurries away. That's a good shot through the onside. No one wants to chase it. Consequently, it's going to bring up a boundary. Well, it brings the 100 up there for the Indians in just 18.4 overs. And there's a bit of a misunderstanding here between mid-on and deep backward square. Who was going to chase it? Whipped it, made his mind up that there's no fieldsman there at mid-wicket. <laughs> you can point your arm as much as you like, but someone's got to chase it. And he's timed it pretty well, and it's very, very fast, the outfields here in the subcontinent. Nice, well, well saved. Mohamed Sami is just bowling over, so it's a good effort from the quickie. This guy is a fantastic cricketer. I think he's a potential superstar in years to come for the Pakistanis. Not only is he pretty good with the ball, but he's very handy in the field. Against the South Africans, he was quite prepared to dive like this. Oh, it's just brilliant. You don't see too many fast bowlers in the world do st does stuff like this. Just ath athleticism. Brilliant athleticism. Once again, point, deep point has got no chance. So Razak not able to uh, keep that line of leg stump to Ganguly. He loves it full and with any width. He's so strong through point. You can have five guys through there, and very rarely they stop it. Look, the hands on these there. Look how quick this outfield is. Good balance, one step, positive move at the ball, bang, four. He's in form, the skipper, can he go on with it? No chance. Well, if you get deliveries like this that's loose and wide outside off stump, they, they deserve to be delivered and smacked for four. Very good shot. But the placement was the key. He knew it was one to hit easy and he just got it right in the right spot. He got the right trajectory as well.
making room and what a shot. Exquisite bit of timing from VVS Lux making room to put it through the cover area. Tremendous strike. And both the wicket keeper and the bowler thought they were through. The bat came through so late. They thought they'd snuck it through. More slip in place. That will run away. Not a lot Abdul Razak can do about it. Saurav Ganguly does has this tendency to uh, play at times away from the body and through that slip cordon. He's only tried that with that's the first ball in the last two overs and it goes for four. He throws the hands out at it, the bat goes late and the blade generally is a little bit open with the ball finding the middle. He's timing the ball really well. Just invariably coming in the middle of the stick. Lovely drive to the offside. That's beaten Mohammed Sami. Exquisite timing from VVS Lakshman. Placing the ball beautifully. It gets him to 49 now. He's planting the foot today. Back lift up, foot down, downswing on the way through. Head right behind the shot, elbow in line. Sami can do nothing. That's what we call timing. Timing of the downswing, the footwork, and the wrist at the end. Gets a run. Gets the 50. Tremendous knock. Effortless. And... Uh, very elegant. First 50 for Vivius Luxman against Pakistan. The crowds are up there appreciating his efforts. He's been smooth, he's been uh, precise with his placement. Five fours, very good strike rate of almost 100. India 151 for two. That's put away in the air. Will it be taken? Oh, it dropped! What a miss. Stafi Kumar, who probably caught the sun, I'm not too sure, but Abdul Razak, I thought, had uh, got VVS Luxman in playing uppishly, and Zamar Mulak is, is disappointed. This would have been a crucial blow. Oh, it was a short ball, and definitely looking straight into the sun. He, di he didn't lay a glove on it, so had to have gone in the sun at the wrong time for him. But the shot was played, and it was played in the air. Maybe we can try on that, say the Pakistanis. Miran is up, but there's still pinch a run. Well, the devious Luxman is uh, not as fleety as some of his other mates, but... Not back in that crease in time. Tafi Kumar, well, he's wearing a hat. I think probably also overran it. A bit of the sun. Very bad technique. Oh, there's trouble here. Big trouble if he'd hit. Hesitation from both batsmen. Ganguly furious with himself at the far end, but he can relax because his man got in. I think the fielder could have chosen either end, personally. Well, two cricket from both of them. Saurav Ganguly furious that uh, he made a wrong call. And Vivius Lakshman should also be very unhappy with himself. He was gone for all money. Rahul Dravid, over 7,000 runs in this form of the game. And in wonderful form at the moment. we've seen from this part of the world in the, in the past something that just seems missing and especially on these pitches which are unexactly conducive to quick bowlers by any manner of means bowling Mohamed Sami back into
into the attack for Shaib Akhtar. And he clean balls Rao Dravid. Middle stump out of the ground. And much delight for the home crowd. Well, Rahul Dravid looks to force a shot. I think that was the emphasis here. Sometimes it tends to go across the line. This is a full-length delivery. First ball of the over, Sami. Nice and straight. And Rahul Dravid was looking to hit it powerfully. And then the bottom hand seems to come in a little bit. And here's the uh, real strength of Sami. Quick and straight. That's how he gets his wickets. Dravid gone for four. India 183 for four. Yuvraj Singh, strike rate of 86 over a career of 94 matches. And off the mark straight away. He's been in good form in this series, Yuvraj Singh. He's played well, he's uh, looked very mature right through this tournament. Work that away and should get a couple. And does. 189 for four. What? Yeah, Loose delivery. Now, Shwab Malik will have to do better than that because Indian pair will be looking for some big hits here in this uh, next half an hour or so. He knew it was four straight away when he struck it. He just didn't even bother running. Just watch, he got it right in the middle of the bat. Good balance, good swing of the bat for and they're starting to pick them off. Shaw Malik needs to have another five overs to bowl here. And would you believe a no ball from a spinner? What? A lovely timing now. This ball will win the race from Kofi Kumar. Great piece of timing from Vivius Lakshman. Hardly seemed to have hit that one. It was pure timing and magic touch. Well, there's a few questions here I'd like to ask. Number one is why is Shabir at cover? Here it is, beautiful timing, and he falls over it. Sydney Harbour Bridge. Good timing, good shot by Laxman, and it runs away for four. And he ramps it down to third man. Will it be four? Oh, and it is. Well, a huge boundary, huge over there for. The Indians, and it's 2 0 for four. Luxman going for a big one. Has he found the gap? Yes, he has. Tofi Kumar is uh, sprawl out there. That was uh, the placement that outdid the fielder. Typical Vivius Laxman. He said, well, I'm not worried about my 100. Let's try to get as many as we can here now. I can't fiddle 100 here. I've got to look for boundaries as much as I can. Put away beautifully. Yovra Singh looking to come to his front foot to attack. Then held back his posture. Shweb Malik pitching the world short. Allowed the batsman the luxury to go strong through mid-wicket. Great shot. A real half trekker. That's gone in there. Will in Zamamul Haq keep his cool? He is a very, very safe fielder. Shabir Ahmed has come back and he has picked up a vital wicket of Yogarat Singh. A huge front edge. It went forever in the air. He is a cool customer when things are tough and a lot of pressure ends he got camped himself underneath it here and took a good catch here. Was it a change up delivery here? No. Threw the shot too early, got the front edge and went high. Inzaman's getting underneath it. He's called for it. Looking what staring this ball down here. He knows everyone in the world's watching and bang. No, he doesn't miss them. He's class and Shabir's got his second wicket for the match. And the dangerous, the dangerous Yuvraj Singh has gone for 18. India 227 for five. Sixty-four matches for Mohammad Kaif. 
India just a touch slow. But they've still got previous Luxman out there and Kaf has joined him. Yovraj Singh was shaping up nicely before he edged one in the air to be caught safely by Nzamam Mulak. Now this went high in the air. Nzamam really had to wait. And wait ran across and then held a nice easy catch in the end. I tell you, they're not easy. You have your heart in your mouth, you know. Every camera is here watching you. Everyone in, in the world is watching. And a misfield, that was a chance, chance for a run out there. Oh, close, very close. Probably there's a little bit of bad there. Shabir Ahmed is clearly disappointed. But I thought that was mighty close. Well, his only defence it was that he hit it. Let's have a look here. Pitched in line, no problem there. Oh, that's just dead. He is gone. That should have been LBW. You don't get much plumber than that. Nadim Gowry missing that one there. Nothing could be as straightforward as that. And now he'll pick up two. Oh, what a miss by the umpire. Oh, great placement. That will go to the boundary. Shweb Malik has got to do better than that. Once again, putting the ball away from the stumps and Inzama Mullah can only hold his head in his palms and do nothing about it. Bad bowling. Well, the major reason why I think he's bowled it there, I think Malik actually thinks or realises that he's looking to go downtown and hit the ball down in the air, down the ground. Bowled it. <laughs> Oh, Lindsay, <laughs> welcome to captaincy, sir. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough at the top. On 99, tremendous 100. His first 100 against Pakistan and uh, getting it here. Packed house of Qadhafi Stadium, Lahore. The mates are out there in the balcony. got that one uh, past Shabir and away to the boundary I, like it, I, like it more. I think that's one of the reasons why he does make uh, big scores when he gets going uh, VVS Laxman because he he really tries to place the ball along the ground rather than hit too many sixes obviously this point in the innings you're looking to hit sixes no mind, no mind. well he was beating all ends up there Shab Malik saw him coming Darts one oh, wide buddy, outside buddy, off and he boy, still has the composure to just place it for four and not bail out with an aerial shot. Oh. Five hundreds in a row without even a fifty. Gotcha. That's gonna fall into the hands of Sami and he takes it comfortably. So show Mullick gets a reward. And VVS Laxman now wishes he had kept it along the ground again. This is why he doesn't hit it in the air as much as along the ground because he's not as good at it. He's not as comfortable. He's now practicing three different options as he walks off as to how he should have played it. That was a terrible shot. He didn't know what to do. Work it across the line over mid wicket. Ended up getting a, a leading edge top edge up into short cover. Muhammad Sami takes a catch. A wonderful innings comes to an end. 104 balls for 107 runs. Six for 253. Rather than not go for the single, there's just two. They're coming back to two here. And well run. Well run. There's hustle everywhere between the wickets and in the field. Yasser Hamid in the field. Patan's got it into the gap. That's a good shot. It's 261 for six. Mid on on the right of screen is back. Mid off, he's up. It's a tight offside field. Well, that was interesting. Shoah Bakhtar uh, saw him coming and decided to abort. And I think uh, might have mentioned to him, uh, you keep walking towards me. 
Son, and it might be the last walk you take. The distracting thing was he went to the right. It looked like he stood away from the crease. Then he came back onto the line of the stumps. I thought initially, too, he'd, he'd, he'd pulled back from striking. He sort of just gave himself a bit of room towards leg stump. That distracted Akta. And then he decided to hang on to the ball and have a good look at what Kaif was trying. Straight to Inzamam. Inzamam's determined to hit the stumps. He has. Now, is umpire Shepard going to have a look at it? No, he's happy. It's an overthrow. Third man. And he's dropped it. Second drop catch for Torfik Omar down there. It wasn't easy. You have to run in. You have to make a decision to either go for the catch or to defend the boundary. Probably takes a second, a half a second to just pick up the, the line and the length of it and gets it right on the end of his fingers. That's going to fall short of deep mid-wicket. Gone to Patan's end. Probably had more chance of getting Kaif. Slyer one, and he's got that well. Won't clear the rope, but it'll bring four. Shoad is not happy. Now, very frustrated, isn't he? The head's still going back. He's halfway back in his run-up. He is spewing. He just waits for it, and then the wrists come through last. Timed it well. New mid on was up. Mid wicket is up. Any sort of bat on it, and I'm safe. He may not slow this one up. Might work on uh, changing the pace up rather than down. Mid on is back. And that's four more. Two full. That's a good over for India. 274 for six. Mid-off has a chance. And taken this time at deep mid-off. So uh, that'll be a very relieved Torfik Umar. He got everything underneath the catch, didn't he, Torfik? He got down on his knees even. Didn't have to, but he wanted everything. Huge cradle to get underneath it. Kaif was back in his crease, but still on the front foot. Bang, cradles it into the, into the midriff and makes a comeback, having dropped two earlier in the day. Muhammad Sami, three for 58. Kaif, out for 16. 276 with one and a half overs to go. Taken by Moen Khan. Good catch by the keeper. And it's called a no ball. Obviously the uh, ball considered to be fast and above waist height. And I thought they'd missed it for a while. David Shepard was late in indicating to Nadim Gori that it was over waist height. It's well struck. Mid on going back. It's cleared him. It's now 43 runs from 25 balls. He's really blossoming with the blade. Balaji right in the slot. But you don't expect the tail ender to hit that for six. Third ball of his innings. Yusuf Johanna had his backside right on the rope. And that's busted the back. Yusuf Johanna in quickly, he's got a chance at a run out, but the ball hits the uh, batsman, Balaji. Well, that's uh, reminiscent of Rodney Marsh against uh, New Zealand, although Rodney's uh, bat, he was, uh, his came out, the handle came out of the blade, this one's just snapped off. Maybe he's got a cork bat. 
Whatever it is, Patan will be going hard, and so too will Akbar. Well, it's close to being uh, another no ball. They were thinking about uh, going for a second. So the innings has finally ended with uh, India at 293 for seven. Irfan Patan and Balaji showing some spunk down there in that late order but VVS Lakshman was a star for India 107 of 104 balls and in the end that could be called a fighting total for India 293 for 7. Shoaib Akhtar getting a bit of stick in the last two overs but respectable figures for him 1 for 47 of 10. Mohamed Sami again showing what a wicket taking bowler he is for Pakistan 3 for 63 and Shabir Ahmed continues to be consistent for his team. Just under six runs in over needed for Pakistan to overhaul this total and win the Samsung Cup.